everybody and welcome back to Page to Frame Storytelling where today we are going to recreate this effect from Heartstoppers. It is a new TV show on Netflix this year. So let's get started. I will be using After Effects to make this effect. Now I did go ahead and get a regular royalty free video to use for this. Um, now it already has a preset of a blurry background. If you do want uh, to know how to recreate a blurry background with just yourself, go ahead and check out my manual focus for beginners. I will link the card up above. Thanks. I went ahead and used the rotoscope tool that After Effects has. Now make sure that the layer tab is open and go ahead and rotoscope the object that you want. Then you go ahead and press spacebar and the After Effects system will actually rotoscope your character. This is a lot easier for less moving characters. However, if your character is moving, it should still track it. If not, just go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup work throughout. Now, once that is fully rotoscoped, you see that I only have the lovely lady and a black background. I went ahead and imported the video again a second time just to go ahead and have the background and have a second layer. Once you've gone ahead and imported the video go ahead and create a solid i did make a purple solid for myself you can choose whatever color that you want once you do that go ahead and press t for opacity i put it at about 50 percent uh, just because i think that's the style that i wanted to go with then i got a background just to give the solid some movement and i also did the opacity for that at 50 percent once I had the background in place, I went ahead for two still images of leaves that are drawn in for Heartstoppers seem to be artistic. So I just went ahead and picked these two leaves out. I of course shrunk them down to about 25% and then I just started animating them. Now I did use two different styles of leaves just because I do like the the style that it looks like but this time you have the ability to make it as fun as you want and as animated as you want you can make it be circular just mess around with the positions and rotations and once you do that uh, you can staircase them or offset them by just a little bit so that they don't look so linear so this is where you really can shine you really can show your artistic freedom now I did use a total of 16 leaves, so that's 8 of each type of leaf. I did do some of them that were over her and some of them were that were under her. So all you do to do that is make sure that your rotoscoped layer, the layer that only has the female in front, is either behind or above your leaf. So depending on where you want the leaf to be, if you want the leaf to be going across her, then you put it on top of that layer. And if you want it underneath, you put it under the layer. Choice is yours. Have as much artistic freedom as you want. You can now go ahead and create a second solid. Now this solid has to be on top of your female layer. I just went ahead and put it on the tippy top of everything and I put it at about 20% transparency and so what you can do is you can manually rotoscope this time and again my footage doesn't move that much so I didn't really have to do too much rotoing just your basic roto work I was all set I of course inverted the mask and you can do that in the layer panel just go ahead and invert that I did feather it up to about 300 just so that we get a nice even tone and we're not really worried about the look. Now this is kind of a lighting technique. Um, if you see on the Heartstoppers one, it is very prominent that they do have a pinkish light. This is just my way of tricking the system to have that light. 
With the solid, don't forget to animate the transparency from 0 to 50 or 0 to whatever you decided to be the transparency. Uh, the only reason for that is I feel like it gives it a nice transitional fade into the effect rather than just a hard fade to the effect. Go ahead and render and there you go. You have your finished product. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you liked it. I think it's a nice and simple way to get this effect in After Effects and you can create your own little animation. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day.